as they show their victory in their moments of enough. Abortion? He took it, Daniel. Man, I, why didn't you come to me? I didn't even know you were pregnant. I mean, we're your family. I know I'm hearing what you're saying. I know you think we're these headstrong Christians. We don't tolerate much, but we're the ones who cover you when you go out and do what you want. But okay, let me chill. You don't need to hear this. But I'm here for you. This will not be your stumbling block. This will be your stepping stone. I love you. Bye. God, you've been looking for that woman to stand up and stand out and cry out for the lives of the unborn children, God. I want to be that woman. You've been searching for someone who will stand in the gap. And you've been searching for someone who will give you their all. Here I am, Lord. Here's my life, Lord. You don't have to search no further. I'll be the one, yes. I'll be the one. Oh, I'll be the one. You don't have to search no further. I'll be the one, yes. I'll be I have had enough. I have had enough of our young black men not achieving, not doing what they're supposed to do, being disobedient, not following what they should, and even incarceration, just to name a few. Our young black men are growing up fatherless, but it started way before then. It started in about middle to high school when they begin to underachieve, to fit in, to be in the in crowd. Then they join gangs, drop out of school, break the law to eventually go to jail and kill their future. You say, what can we do as women? We can pray. We can pray through deliverance. We can pray through and get our strength because the Bible says in Mark 9 and 29 that we should pray these things, some things cannot be fixed without prayer and fasting. We as women can pray. We need to pray in the USA. Because I have had Enough. I've had enough heartache. I've had enough headache. I've had so many ups and downs. Don't know how much more I can take. for the last time. I can't do this anymore. I'm tired of covering up my scars with makeup. Because at the end of the day, the scars are still here. My heart aches and my, my heart aches and my spirit is broken. Who would ever thought I would be in a place like this? I'm strong in all other areas. I'm not that typical weak woman that would go through something like this. I sought God, and in my darkest hour, he came to me. He spoke to me. I heard him. I even hear him now. I feel my strength coming now, and I've had enough. and tired 
of looking for love in honesty the wrong places. I was talking to my friend the other day, and she told me that her husband found her in a Christian bookstore while she was picking up a new sex guy. And she said, it's just that simple, that in God's timing, he will find me. I mean, I have tried everything. I'm safe. I'm accomplished. And I keep myself cute. But is that enough? Have I truly been focused completely on the things of God without any distractions? Or do I keep getting in the way? I truly believe that it's time for me to take a step back and do a step check. Because I need to make sure my actions line up with the things God has for me today. I have had enough of my way. You are not your makeup, not your clothes, and the not in this space that no one knows. Not a skin color, a pretty face, the number of inches around your waist. There's so much that you've been through that nobody knows. So many things you never show. You're more than labels, more than pain, and you're more than your mistakes. And you got something to say. Oh. to the store, get in car boots. Really? Again? I'm picking up clothes behind my kids again? Who do they think I am? The maid? A servant? Oh no, I don't get paid. That would be their slave. I am sick and tired of this continuous cycle of a problem. It's something all the time. If it's not the job, it's the children. Not the children, it's my husband. It's just enough. It started with the kids. They felt we don't have enough time, quality time, with both parents working. So I quit my job. Where the appreciation I received from that? Complaints. Complaints from my husband that there's not enough home cooked meals and the house is not clean enough to justify you being home. And then it was the family consensus that there's not enough disposable income for entertainment. Entertainment, I can provide that for my husband, and I did on a regular. But now, he has three jobs. So where am I? I have no job. My husband is either gone or tired. The kids, they're actually doing well right now. But what about me? Lord, what about my dreams, my goals, and my ambition? You know I want to be a good wife and a good mother to our children. But what now? I know. I'll push back. I'll push back against the devil to gain my peace, my joy, and my contentment. I'll push back knowing that the devil is defeated and the victory is won. I'll push back knowing one day, soon, Payday will come for me. That's it. I'll push back.
arrested as a child, a young teen. And the after effect of it all, man, the feeling of worthlessness, anger, confusion, the feeling of not being loved. Feeling far because you think that everyone can see what happened to you and that no one will want you because you're not worthy. But I had to come to the realization that God loves me. Despite everything that happened to me, he loves me. And in turn, I can love me too. And you know what? It wasn't until then and only then that I could accept, mm -hmm. forgive, and move on knowing that God loves me just as I am. And that glory would come out of it. Glory has come out of it. No more letting this stop me, ladies. I have had enough. You think I'm everything when I think I'm nothing. When I hate myself, you still love me, love me as my What do you have to lose? Why is it so hard to choose? Circumstances wait you down. And happiness is no way. Thank <laughs> you.